GitHub is reimagining how you track your work with their new GitHub projects. Let's start our journey into this new project land with a quick introduction and overview. Here we go. Hey y'all, I'm Mickey Gousset, and in today's video, we are going to provide a quick introduction and overview of what GitHub is working on to update our project management features. Future videos will then deep dive into specific topics related to GitHub projects. Now first, let's get some confusion around naming out of the way. GitHub had, and still has, the previous way that was used to organize projects. At the time, it was called projects. And in fact, I have a series of videos from a couple of years ago on those exact topics. With the introduction of the new projects experience, we did a little name changing. The old projects are now referred to as projects classic, and the new system is referred to as projects. So when I talk about projects, I'm referring to the new system. And when I say projects classic, I'm referring to the old system. But this video is all about the new system, Projects. Now Projects is an adaptable spreadsheet that integrates with your issues and pull requests on GitHub to help you plan and track your work effectively. Now what's really cool is that it's easy to create multiple views by filtering, sorting, and grouping issues and pull requests, visualize your work using charts, and create custom fields to track the specific metadata that you care about. One thing I like about the experience, it doesn't try to force you to use a specific methodology to track your work. Instead, you make the tool work for you, the way you want to work. Now there's a lot more to the tool, including multiple views, creating relationships, and automation. And don't worry, I have a whole slew of videos coming to cover all those topics and more. For now though, let's see how we can create a new project and add something to the board. So right now, we have two ways to create a GitHub project. Either an organization GitHub project or a user GitHub project. So let's start out by creating an organization GitHub project. So here I am at the organizational level and I can go to the projects tab and I can click new project. And it'll bring me to this window where I can either start off with a table from scratch, start off with a Kanban board from scratch, or I could choose a project template, such as a team backlog project template or a feature project template, which would have extra fields and some stuff already created for me. So in this case, I'm just going to start off with a basic table. I'm going to name my project. So we'll give my project a name. We'll call it the YouTube project. And I will click Create. Now, creating a user project works the same way. You just go to your user profile page and you can create one from there. So if I go to my user profile page, you can see I have projects and I can click projects and I can click create a new project and it's the same interface the same way so we have two different ways of creating our projects so let's go back to our organization and go to the project that we just created now for the project that we just created if I click the three ellipses, I can go to settings. And the settings allows me to do multiple things. Allows me to manage access, allows me to manage certain parts of custom fields. But what I want to do right now is I'm gonna give this project a name. I'm gonna give it a description. This project is used with there we go, is used with 
YouTube demos. I'm going to save that. And then finally, you can give your project a README. And this is just when people are viewing details about the project, give some information about the project, just like a README in a repository. And it fully supports Markdown. So we could say YouTube, YouTube project. And we'll say purpose be awesome. And then we'll even give it a rocket ship. You can see I can preview that and then I can save my changes. Now, if I go back to the project's main page, you may wonder, well, where do you see that information? Well, up here, if you select project details, and you can see it shows me the project name, the project description, and the readme file. So this is a good way to provide information for people that might be new to your project to be able to see the readme file and understand what we're trying to accomplish with this project. Now I've got more videos coming in this series about adding issues and pull requests and creating pull re issues and such on your project board. But let's add a draft issue real quick just so that we can wrap this demo up by adding something to the actual board. So I can just click in here and I can just start typing. We'll call this my first issue. Now I hit return. And this is a draft issue. I can click into that draft issue and all I can do with a draft issue is give it a name and give it a description. But I do have the ability to convert it to a real issue, which we will do in a future video. Now there's a lot more to show you that's coming in future videos, being able to add custom fields, being able to filter or group by certain fields. There's a lot of ways that you can manipulate the information on your project board that we'll be going into in future videos. But this will at least get you started. So go out there and give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed this video on an introduction to the new projects experience in GitHub. If so, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that bell to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.